I was petrified of the water. Absolutely petrified. If I go up to the local pool in the summer with the children, I wouldn't get in. Come on, Granny, come on, you know. No, no. <laughs> I sort of made this idea that I'd got to swim before I was 70. Something just in me said it was about time to do this. It's not just for me, it's for the family as well, so I can enjoy being with the family in something that they enjoy. I went zip lining last year, so I mean, <laughs> you do these things, don't you? My name's Margaret Hartzorn. What do you want to know about me? Oh, how, how can I say what type of person I am? That's for someone else to say. <laughs> um, open, forthright. I say what I think. Don't mince my words, which can be offensive to some people. <laughs> Quite a lot of people, actually. <laughs> I went back to school when I was 48. I went to Algonquin to learn horticulture and landscape design. I was the oldest student there. I'm passionate about learning, because I never achieved much at school. I was a non-achiever at school. Um, so when you're at school and you're told you're never going to amount to anything, it's a big challenge to amount to something. And to go back to college and being told that, yes, you can learn. You know, I didn't know I could learn. So, you know, I'm dyslexic and uh, so that was a big thing. It was a big thing. <laughs> it sounds silly, but even in a shower, I hated the water going over my face. I'd always stand that way. I couldn't tolerate it. I got this total fear of water. I didn't like getting in a canoe or anything because it's at the back of your mind. I can't swim. Today will be my 60th lesson. 60 lessons might sound a lot, but to me it isn't, because it's been a long journey. Some people fear spiders, and they're every different fear. I feared water. My husband drove me here for the first class, because I wouldn't have done it. Stephanie's holding my hand the whole time. I mean, I don't know what she recollects about it, but I don't recollect a lot <laughs> that first time. But she did get me in the water, she held my hand, and I think she just started to uh, get me to put my face in it and blow bubbles. And that was the scariest thing, to actually immerse my face in the water. So I was absolutely breathless and full of fear, totally full of fear. And that's embarrassing when you're my age. <laughs> to be so scared of something and for someone else to see what you're scared of. You're letting people know your inner self, your inner fears, and we usually hide that from people. I mean, it's not something I share with anyone except my family. If you've got something that you've always thought of that you'd like to do in your life, whether it's swimming, anything, you know, skydiving, anything. Do it. Try it. You have to push through that wall that you've created and you'll find that you can. I mean, it's, it's not easy. It's very, very difficult. You have to overcome the, the mental side of it that's telling you you can't do it. And I don't know how you get through that, but you can. I write myself notes. 
and tell myself in my day book, do it, you know, learn to swim, you've got to do it. And when I got to the point of just doing a, a flutter kick, you know, I um, treated my daughters to come to the spa and I told them to bring their swimsuits and we went down to the pool and um, I got in the pool. They couldn't believe that I just walked into the pool. <laughs> in fact, one of my daughters rushed in and came and held my hand. <laughs> They were so proud of me, they just couldn't believe it, you know, that I'd done this in secret. Just in case it didn't work out, you know, I mean, so I didn't tell anyone because I didn't know if I'd be capable of doing it. But I am, and I'm doing it. <laughs> I can give you a high five. That's amazing. <laughs>